Okay, one announcement. On this coming Thursday, uh, we will review the uh, we will review the whole process of model analysis by using the example. Very simple example. Simple because this is symmetric, same mass, the same stiffness. Uh, so, as I uh, as I talked to you in the last lecture, I would like to all of you. Uh, try to do the model analysis, uh, model analysis of this system on, until uh, coming uh, Thursday. And then Thursday we will demonstrate and show ex explicitly the detailed procedure of model analysis. Okay. Suppose I have only F citation over here, F0 sine omega t. Okay. The reason why we took this a representative example is because this is a symmetry, therefore we can check whether or not the each procedure, detailed procedure is correct or not. Okay. If M if is it is more general, for example, the stiffness, all these stiffness are different and the mass are different. It's not just possible to check whether or not we are following the correct procedure. Okay? So please do the uh, uh, this homework until Thursday. Okay? And also the To start the uh, chapter 5, vibration chapter 5 has to do with the vibration suppression uh, or control the vibration, how to control the vibration. So we had an example that we have a certain uh, delicate electronic system over here that can be modeled by MCK system. We would like to know how to determine K and C and mass to avoid any undesirable vibration uh, that can be possible in space shuttle, for example. Okay. We have, uh, in this case, we normally know the excitation coming from outside, and we know the vibration of this structure, meaning that there is some vibration due to the excitation of structure and a vibration due to the excitation of air, which we call the acoustic excitation. Then we want to determine what kind of Mach A and a C we have to select to have a minimum vibration of a delicate instrument, including human being. Okay. So, uh, uh, to model this kind of physical situation, let's investigate again two interesting examples. One is, there is a mass and a spring and a dash pot. And suppose this base is vibrating with amplitude y of t. Okay. And we do have an interest of vibration of this mass. Okay. Suppose y of t can be written as a sine omega t. Okay. Then we can write the response of x would be x sine omega t assuming that X is complex. Or you may write 
y is exponential, y and exponential the omega t, and we can write this is x equal to j omega t. Okay. And another example would be, suppose we have a mass and spring and dash bar, same dash bar C, and suppose we have excitation F that can be written F0 sine omega T, and we have interest on reducing response XT. Okay? Or we want to have a small force, transmitted force, to the base. That can be written as kx plus cx dot. We want to have a minimum f of t. Okay? To understand the way to suppress the vibration, in this case we want to have a small x of t as possible as, as we can, and we want to have a small f of t as possible as we can. We have to start with to have equation of motion. Okay. How to get the equation of motion? How to get it? We have to find out the governing law, I mean the law that governs the motion of the system. What is the governing law? Newton's second law. How to apply Newton's second law? We have to balance, we have to find the unbalanced, mass, unbalanced force that can be applied to the mass. It turns out the equation of motion in this case is, can be written as mx double dot cx dot plus kx is equal to equal to cy dot plus ky. Is it correct? And the equation of motion in this case is simply mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx equal to f of t. This is excitation force. Okay? And the solution Solution can be obtained many ways. Okay. Try to remember what we learned in chapter one and chapter two. The solution of this equation, I mean solution of x for the given y. Okay. Has two components. One is a transient response that is induced by the initial condition that can be provided to this mass initial velocity and initial displacement but assuming that we only have an interest in steady state in other words when time long enough to neglect the, the transient vibration. I'm, 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 I'm now emphasizing the, the logical procedure I'm taking. Okay. We start with the model, uh, modeling the real situation. A simplified model uh, to understand uh, the way to suppress the vibration. We have we start with the, having equation.